Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and talk about what this video is going to be about. So the goal of this video is to give a brief overview of my plan to master algorithms and data structures for coding interviews. So as for how I plan to do this, um, let me preface by saying that I have about four months to prepare and uh, my algorithms are, they're all right. I know basic data structures thanks to uh, part one of my plan, which I'll go into in a second. But this is intended to be a plan for complete beginners. Anybody can do it. Anybody who has no experience or hasn't taken any courses in algorithms or data structures will be able to do it just like me. And so let's get into it. Firstly, you're gonna wanna go to Coursera and take Robert Sedgwick's course on algorithms. It's a Princeton professor, and he goes through the most basic data structures and algorithms in part one. Uh, I really enjoyed it as a beginner with no experience. Anybody could learn from it. I think it's a great program. If you don't enjoy his teaching style, you can work through an algorithms textbook, such as the algorithm design manual or cracking the coding interview. Both of these are valid options, but I chose Robert Sedgwick's and I took notes the whole way so I would understand exactly what he was talking about. Secondly, you're gonna wanna implement everything you learned about data structures and algorithms in your language of choice. In my case, it's Python. And when I say implement, you wanna go and open up a new IDE and what you wanna do is like make a link list from scratch, make merge sort from scratch. But the idea here is that you really wanna practice through spaced repetition so that you really start to ingrain exactly what each algorithm should be used for and how you can implement it in case your interviewer asks you to implement it. So number three on our list for the plan is to go through a code rest list or something similar to it. The one I'm using is hacking the coding interview. I'm not paying for code rest or the course. What I'm doing is looking at the names of each exercise and searching up on leak code so I can practice it for free. The idea here is that all algorithm problems are of a variation of 75 to 100 different patterns and so this course supposedly covers all of them from what I've read. Once you start to understand each pattern, solving algorithm problems is just a matter of recognizing which pattern is being used in the current problem. And so it becomes exponentially easier to solve leak code problems. So for step four, after our code rest list, my plan is to look up FANG specific lists, such as the team blind curated list. I will link it in the description. I will link all these resources in the description. And so FANG specific lists, this will be later, I'm assuming in one, one and a half months. Once we start doing these, uh, we'll start to get a better understanding of patterns and what questions FANG companies are asking for these interviews. By doing this, we're practicing directly for what our interviewer is gonna be asking for. Moreover, you're gonna to wanna to use either a whiteboard or a pencil and paper, just so you can write out your steps and your thought process, because a huge part of the interviews is going to be communication. If you memorized a thousand lead code answers, your interviewers might not hire you because they want somebody who can communicate exactly what they're doing. This is based on the assumption that they're hiring so that you will eventually become a senior level engineer. And to be a senior level engineer, you're gonna to need to teach other people from what I've heard. They don't want a robot who can spit out algorithm problems. They want somebody who can walk through exactly what they're doing. After this, it'll be about one month from my interviews. I'm planning on paying for Leak Code Premium so that I can access the company specific questions and solutions more efficiently. I have the funds to be able to do this. If you don't, by no means is it necessary. You can look up lists and find them for free. Once again, I'm gonna be studying at this point two plus hours a day at least just to maximize my chances of getting an internship at one of these companies. Lastly, I plan on making videos about how to implement data structures and how to walk through different algorithms as well as actually solving different leak code problems that I think are really important for understanding. By doing this, I'm hoping to practice the technique of learning where you teach somebody how to do it and by teaching somebody how to do it, you're able to ingrain in your brain better that you understand how to do it and all the steps that are necessary. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to hit like and subscribe for more content. I'll be releasing weekly updates and tutorials on data structures and algorithms. If you're into that, I'm also gonna be doing some Swift UI and Swift tutorials with Firebase if you enjoy making mobile apps and things like that. Also, a huge shout out to Reddit user Spoderman. This video took massive inspiration from his guide that he posted a couple years back. So I'll link all the resources in the description and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.